Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I am presenting you this 50 years old male diabetic patient who presented who had a history of sudden decrease of vision in the left eye a month ago while he was working abroad in Dubai. Now he contacted me via WhatsApp and sent me a long voice clip saying that he is diabetic for many years and trying to control it with diet, exercise and tablets. But uh, one day when he awoke from the sleep he is not seeing well in the left eye. So what could be the reason? I told him that you should better go to the eye specialist in Dubai and confirm the exact cause but it can either be vitreous hemorrhage, vein occlusion, sudden diabetic cataract development, ischemic optic neuropathy or sudden change of refractive error. He went there and confirmed the vitreous hemorrhage and when he returned home he came to me for checkup and I diagnosed him with high risk proliferative diabetic retinopathy. Vitreous hemorrhage was um, almost uh, resolved with anti VEGF uh, injections, and as the view got clear, I observed two fibrovascular fronts above and below the superior temporal arcade like here it is looking in inferior nasal quadrant but actually it is superior temporal arcade now they were elevated front like um, so whenever you find new vascularization elsewhere on the fundus uh, you need to check new vessels on the disc which were not present in this case. Patient also had bilateral posterior subcapsular cataracts. Vision was right eye 69 and 636 partial in the left eye. Now view was not very clear because the vitreous hemorrhage was resolving but it had resolved mostly but it was enough to carry out pan retinal photocoagulation to treat the retinal ischemia and new vessels. <clears throat> now it has been estimated that over one fourth of the retina must be non perfused before proliferative diabetic retinopathy develops. So, mainstay of the treatment is prompt pan retinal photocoagulation. Now, the important question arises how to differentiate irmas from new vessels? Well, in this case, it was a straightforward case because uh, vitreous hemorrhage occurred and only new vessels bleed. And they were elevated, uh, growing, uh, they were elevated from the retina because they breach the internal limiting membrane barrier and grow into the vitreous, just like branches of the tree, into the posterior vitreous phase. So with 78 diopter lens you can clearly appreciate the elevated fronts of new vessels and on F FA leakage occurs in new vessels where no leakage occurs from IRMAs intraretinal microvascular abnormalities they are the shunt vessels they lie deep into the retina they does not occur on the disc like new vessels now irmas are discrete they are more darker in color because they are intraretinal with less defined borders they doesn't leak and they doesn't bleed they are curly in shape and they don't look logical or going to any particular place so here the two fronts they were above the retina into the vitreous and they also bleed so they were new vascularization elsewhere so now you can easily differentiate the two and in this patient we advised pan retinal photocoagulation 
for the PDR and planned cataract surgery for diabetic cataracts and we advised strict glycemic control and referred the patient to endocrinologist to control diabetes. Thank you very much.